Roger Moore had a website that was very notorious. It was referred to as Is Anyone Up? And it was basically revenge porn, where jilted lovers would post naked pictures and naked videos of their significant others or past significant others. Well, uh, Hunter Moore got a lot of criticism for that, and eventually he handed that website over to an anti-bullying organization. So everyone thought, all right, well, it turns out that this story has a happy ending. Well, not so much. Uh, it turns out Hunter Moore actually wants to create a new website, and it's uh, huntermore.tv, where uh, he will be able to do the exact same thing as he did before. Of course! There was a lot of uh, speculation because of an interview he did while he was, quote, drunk and coked out, where he said that he was also planning on creating a mapping feature so you can stalk the women uh, that oh, have their naked Christ. pictures posted on his website. However, uh, he was interviewed by Salon.com and he says, no, I was drunk, I was just kind of talking out of my ass basically, and that's not what I'm planning on doing. However, if you have personally wronged me, then of course it's okay and I will include your personal information. My guess is that if someone then included his personal information somewhere, he would probably sue the living crap out of it. Here's the interesting thing about Hunter Moore. He knows that people are out for revenge, right? So he has willingly posted all of his personal information already, including oh, his, his, his uh, address, including some of the crazy scandals he's gotten involved in in the past. Since he posts other people's naked pictures up, he has uh, posted pictures of his Johnson numerous times. Well, um, Absolutely not interested in that. So, yeah, right. So, you know, he did an Eminem move. Here, let me tell you all my crap before you tell me all my crap, right? Exactly. And in fact, here, let me show you my just. <laughs> okay, not, not the direction I would have gone. Yeah. All right, but this guy's whole existence is not the direction I would have gone. Look, if you told me you're going to be against revenge porn before I knew what it was, I would have been surprised. I'm like, that sounds fun, revenge porn. What's that about, right? Mm -hmm. But it turns out, no, it's too much of a dick move, man. Without their permission to get the ex-girlfriends to say, I mean, I know when they took it, they had probably had the permission, et cetera, but to do that to somebody and put it up online where everybody can see it, it's the biggest douche move in the world. So Hunter Moore is proud to refer to himself as a troll, right? A mm -hmm. And trolling has become like a form of art or something on the internet. Like people are proud of it. There are people who dedicate YouTube channels to it. I can't stand it. It's super annoying. Um, but he was asked by Salon why he does trolling. And he says, uh, people that I troll personally, I'm going to be taking it one step further and making you look like even more of an idiot. It's going to be me doing it. And when people troll me, I'm just going to do it 10 times harder. It's only going to be for for certain cases, not for everybody, I don't want people to kill each other. Well, is he not merciful? Yeah, look, I, I think these guys are goofballs. I mean, whenever I hear about, like, I'm going to out-troll you, I feel like, okay, I guess you win the third grade contest for who's the biggest troll. Like, congratulations. Like, it doesn't bother me that much. Maybe that's why people don't troll me as much. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, you trolled me. <laughs> Okay. I know, I know. I mean, I... And it's easier for me. I'm a guy, right? Right. So, but this whole thing of, I'm going to out-troll you is so stupid. What contest are you winning? And I'm going to troll you harder? Who says that? This guy... Like, what are you, in Dungeons and Dragons? He admits that back in the day, he really got his heart broken by some woman, right? Or by some girl. Of he was probably course. in high school. And his entire, his entire existence now revolves around almost like getting revenge against her and other, you know, women that have done their boyfriends wrong or their boyfriends feel like they've done them wrong. Um, and it's... It's crazy how much money this guy makes because this is this is his income. This is his source of income. He pays the bills. I don't He's know wealthy. the number yet, but I'm not whatever it is. I I'd be surprised if I was surprised by it. It's got the word porn in. It. I know, <laughs> okay. I know. And it's on the internet. He's gonna make a lot of money. So there's that's him. That's right. him. Yeah. And what's amazing is people will send him like women will send him pictures and be like, oh, oh. yeah, no, no, that's the sick part of the world. Yeah. I mean, like, there's no way that this doesn't work for him. Like both money wise, and there'll be, I mean, look, people, the thing about fame is that the Menendez brothers, who killed their parents with a shotgun, mm -hmm. got marriage proposals. Why? I saw you on TV. It's the power of celebrity, and also, I'm not afraid to admit it, there are women out there that love dicks. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the other one. <laughs>
<laughs> no, 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 no. Like the kind you posted I, online. <laughs> no, not those kind. Well, they like those kinds of dicks too. Well, but, sure. <laughs> but you know what I'm referring to. They like yeah, assholes. They definitely. like bad guys. And in this case, like they'll send him the pictures. This is according to what he told Salon during an interview. Um, he says women will send him pictures and they'll be like, oh, please don't put this up on your website. <laughs> They're unbearable. And it has to be in that voice. <laughs>